Hi, Robert Anthony here for Audio Tuts Plus. Logic Pro 10 has a bunch of great new features and enhancements for creative production. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the new MIDI effects feature inside of Logic Pro 10. The new MIDI effects are available to insert on virtual instrument channel strips inside of either the inspector window or the mixer window. These effects will process the MIDI signal from the sequencer and dynamically alter the signal before sending it out to the outputs. Apple has included a variety of MIDI effects units, including the classic go-to effect, the arpeggiator. I'll play some chords on my keyboard and record it into the sequencer workspace. To insert a MIDI effect, you select one from the drop-down menu here. The effect unit will now process the incoming data from the sequencer and dynamically alter the sound. In this case, the arpeggiator will arpeggiate the chords without having to manually create the effect in the sequencer workspace. I'll show you another one, the modifier, which will reassign an input value to another target parameter, such as the default of taking the velocity value and reassigning it to the modulation wheel. If you're feeling very adventurous, Apple has also included a scripter, which you can use to write your own custom scripts for MIDI effects. MIDI effects are an amazing new creative tool that you can use to quickly add a unique style to your productions. This is Robert Anthony for Audio Tuts Plus, showing you the new MIDI effects included in Logic Pro 10. Thanks for watching.